Hi there. So a few years ago, I created a video about how to add buttons to text fields inside modules. One of the things I did not do in that video was show you how to customize the button and add those customizations into your module. So I thought it's about time I update the video and go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm not gonna go step by step on how to add the button into a text module. So if you don't already know how to do that, go ahead and watch this video here and I will add the link to my descriptions and that will show you the basics on how to actually add a button and then this video will show you how to customize that button and make sure those customizations carry over into your text modules regardless of where you put it so as you can see here i have a button right here and inside my text modules this button and as you can see it looks identical to this button up here so we look on the back end here this is my visual builder and if I get my mouse to work, this is my visual builder as you can see. I have a button here, a text here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to add a button field. So you go ahead and add a button just like this. And then you'll want to stylize that button however you want. I'm not going to go through and, and stylize the button. I already have one right here. So go ahead and design to design, choose your, you know, you know, do the custom, choose your colors, your border radius, your icons, all that stuff. So make the button look how you want it to look. So I've already done that. So here's the button that I designed. So what we're going to do is we would save it so create your button save it or save a draft of it you don't actually need it then we're going to come over here so you're going to exit the visual builder or just open up or open up the preview in its own page like i've done here and what we want to do is we want to right click on the button we just created so let here let me make this a little easier I'm just going to go, I'm going to get rid of that button so we're not looking at it and save it. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to right click on the button that we just created. And again, it's easier if we do this on a draft or on a staging server. So this is not actually on your live site. Um, so we're going to right click on it and we're going to inspect. I'm using Microsoft's Edge here, but you can do this in Chrome and Safari and Firefox. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we have this right here. This is the code for the button. So it's A class, we wanna copy this. So we're gonna go ahead and copy it. So I recommend you open up Notepad or another text editor just so you have it so you can drop all this code in here. So that way you have it and it's a lot easier, especially when we start doing the CSS stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and just make sure we have this copied. We're gonna come back into our visual builder. We're gonna open up the module in which we want to insert the button. So we'll do this in accordion right here. So I can show you this works regardless. Then we're gonna make sure we're in the text field. So we're not in the visual, we're in the text. So this is the back end. This is what shows you where the code is. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna to come to the bottom here and paste it. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter so it's on its own line here. And a real quick tip, if you want to center it, just make sure you have the cursor right there and hit center and it will center your button. So now we've placed a button inside a text field. So we're gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. All right, so we're gonna to need to add our CSS. Now you have a lot of different options of where you can add it. You can add it you can add it here on your theme options and then you should scroll down to the bottom under custom CSS. You can add it to cut theme customizer. If you have a child theme, you can add it to your child theme under theme editor. Uh, just to make this easier, I'm gonna actually just add it to this page. Uh, so, and to do that, if you wanna add your CSS to a particular page, then from your visual builder, you just come up here to this icon under advanced custom CSS and you just add it here. That's where we're going to be adding it. But again, normally you're going to add this to your 
to like right here. And this is normally where I would do it if I wasn't doing a tutorial. But it's just going to be easier for me to do it here. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to come back here where we've already right clicked and we have this and we want to grab the CSS from this. So we're going to come over here and grab this right here. So this gives us our font color, our border width and all that font, all, of the, all the changes we made. We're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to copy the rule. And like I say, I always like to add everything I do into my notepad. You don't need to do this, but I just find it easier and that way I have it and I can save this file and I have it. It just makes it easier in case something goes wrong. Um, you, you have and that way you don't have to go through all these steps again. But it's, that's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead now. We're going to paste that, what we just copied, into, into here, into our into our custom CSS. Now, as you can see, this is called ETPB button and ETPB button zero. In order to have our customizations and all our different modules, what we want to do is give this its own unique name. So we're going to come in here and we're going to change this to 99 because I'm pretty sure there's no other buttons with, with that name. So ET underscore PB underscore button underscore 99. And it, or remember, it has the custom CSS I've already put in here. So let's go see, let's go grab some more CSS we're going to need. So we're going to come back here and I'm going to grab, I know I have a hover on here, so I'm going to look for the hover and here it is. So again, I'm going to copy this rule. I'm going to paste this rule here. And I want this to apply to 99s, right? So we're gonna, whoops. So we're gonna make sure this is for 99. I don't need the rest of this. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And this is one of the reasons I usually end up doing it on Notepad. So I'll make the changes here and then I'll just cut and I'll just copy and paste it into what I'm working with. So let's go ahead and paste this in and let's see what we have. So we're gonna come back here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that 99, 99. It's not gonna work yet, so I haven't changed it. So let's go ahead and save that. One thing that's really important, we're gonna come back here. It still thinks this button is zero. We gotta give it the name of 99. So ETPB button zero, remember that's 99. So we're gonna give it its own unique name. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Go ahead and save that. And that's what we've got so far. That looks pretty good, but there's no drop shadow. It do, it's not as tall. Oops, it's not as tall as this button. So let's save it and work outside the visual builder. There we go. So it looks pretty good, but it's not quite there yet because it doesn't have the drop shadow underneath the text or here and it's not as high. So let's go ahead and figure out what makes that. So we're gonna right click again, inspect the element. So what we're looking for is we really wanna see all the, all the classes here or the rules here that have the zero on them. So if we just scroll down a little bit right here, I mean, it's hidden, but if we just hover over it, we can, oops, we can see this is ETPP zero. So we know we want that. So we're gonna copy this rule and again, we're gonna we're gonna paste it here. We're gonna change this number to 99. We're gonna change this number to 99. We're gonna copy it. Come back to wherever your CSS is, and we're gonna add it. And then we're going to come back again. We're looking for that. So here's another one that's zero. And this is the text shadow and the box shadow. So we're going to copy that. We're going to paste it. 99. And then once again, we're going to add it to our custom CSS here. 
and go ahead and save that. Here, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. So let's refresh and see what we have so far. So now we have the drop shadow and we have the text shadow on it. So, so what we're really missing right now is the thickness, and that's so if we let's inspect it again. And it's going to be this right here, this inline block. So watch, if I take this, if I uncheck it here, see how that just got smaller and that now looks exactly like this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this property. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that property and I'm just going to stick it inside. Okay, let's make sure we change all this code so it's all 99. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick it inside this display inline block right here. So let's just put it right here underneath, let's say, the background color. So as you can see, that just made it big. So I'm going to go ahead and save a draft. Wherever I, So now the button, these buttons look pretty much identical. I don't need this one anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I don't need that button. And now wherever I want this button to appear, I'm going to come in here. And I'm just going to copy this right here. Right? So I'm going to copy the code right here. And let's say I want it in my second accordion. Go ahead and enter it. And then, of course, you're going to change your link to whatever you want your link to be. And I discussed this in the other video. So you would change your link here. If you want it to say something different, you would change here where it says read more. So here you can say, like, learn more. And we'll go ahead and close that. So now, as you can see, we've got the learn more button here. And this here is a text module. Same thing. We're going to come to our text field here. Scroll down. Enter the button. There's the button. Change the H. Change the link here. Change the wording here. And there you go. Now let's say you said, okay, well, this is great, but I want this one to be yellow and this one to be a different color. So then what you're going to do is you're going to come in here. You're going to change this to a, another unique. You're going to change this to another unique class here, and we'll say 98. Then wherever you've put your, your custom CSS for buttons, in my case, it's, it's just on the page settings, but yours is most likely going to be in the theme options. Then you're going to copy all of this. You're going to paste it, and I don't know where I started, and you're going to change all of these to 98. So wherever it says 99, you're going to change it to 98. And then you're going to change your color. So this would be your, your text color here. So that's red. And then you can change your background color to, whoops, maybe do zeros and not. So black. And there you have a really ugly button. But so that's, so if you want to have different color buttons, then just make sure you change your, your class right here so it's unique. So now if I want to have this button again, if I want to have this button and another, so this is a blur module. So I'm showing you this works in all of these different modules that have this text field. Again, always make sure you're in the text tab here. I'm going to add the button. I would just change the class to 99. And then at this point, you can publish it. All right, so that's how you can actually customize a button inside a text module. If you're on YouTube and you would like to see the tutorial written out and grab some of the CSS that I use, then be sure to visit DiviDo.com. I will have a link to the tutorial in the description. If you like the video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. We'll see you next time.